Hello, everybody. Uh, very excited to be with you right now. I have a video here on flat epithelial atypia, which is a benign breast lesion. Um, so we will get right into it. So just going through kind of normal breast histology first. Uh, remember, we have primarily uh, main structures to think about are going to be uh, ducts, what you can see here, and you can see lobules here, and then all of this over here is just going to be a stroma in between. Um, and then if we zoom in on the lobule, we can see that the lobule is comprised of these little structures here called asini. And asini um, have a very specific uh, structure, which is important for um, not only general understanding, but important for understanding breast uh, malignancies. But um, I won't be going into that today, but just uh, FYI. And then this is going to be the, um, you can see the basement membrane here. And then the outer layer is going to be myoepithelial cells. And then the inner layer is going to be the luminal cells. And then you can see some secretions inside. Um, so basically the acinus is responsible for producing the milk, and then the duct is responsible for propagating or moving the milk along um, out of the body. So flat epithelial atypia is going to be a condition in which um, you have kind of abnormal lining of the of the um, asini within the terminal duct lobular units. Um, it is not considered a uh, you know, a cancerous lesion. Um, however, it's thought to increase the risk of cancer down the line. Um, so that's why it's important to look for it and to kind of document it. So you can see here at low power, um, what we have is a um, is is the lesion here, and you can pretty uh, significantly understand and see why it looks different because it doesn't have that nice tidy two cell or two layer um, uh, thickness that we were discussing in the normal slide. It kind of looks very like you know proliferative and strange looking, and the reason why it's called flat epithelial atypia is because the 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 lesion kind of looks flat at low power. Um, and I'm going to explain why that is um, later because it can get kind of confusing. But you can see this nice kind of proliferation look, like crowded type look, I guess, um, for this area here. Okay, so when we think about FEA, it's important to understand that it's on a spectrum. So this is um, basically columnar cell changes that can occur. Um, within the asini. So we can have um, columnar cell changes, period. We could have columnar cell hyperplasia, and then we can have flat epithelial atypia. So the reason why I kept emphasizing on the last slide um, that we have kind of flat architecture is because actually at the cellular level, we should have columnar cells. So um, it is columnar cell change, so I don't want you to get confused with the term flat um, and confusing that with columnar cells, so that's why those two terms are used. Um, but flat epithelial atypia is important because it basically is just columnar cell change with atypia. So the reason um, why oftentimes these lesions are found to is because um, biopsies are done for microcalcification, CNM and mammography, and that may actually just be due to FEA. And so when we're looking for the atypia, you want to look for prominent nucleoli. So you can kind of see here at higher power, what we have um, is a really nice picture of FEA. I mean, maybe it's not always going to be this nice when looking at the sides. But um, you can see here that there is apical snouting. Uh, and then we also don't confuse that as well with um with apocrine metaplasia. That has a more of an eosinophilic cue to it, whereas this is more kind of bluish, but this is the apical snouting here. And then you can see really nicely the microcalcifications here. Um, and then you can see if we look at this, this over here, um, we have nice columnar cell change, um, which you can appreciate. Um, and then you can see also see prominent nucleoli. So there's definitely certainly atypia present. And um, again, we have replacement of like the normal native luminal cells um, with this columnar cell change. 
these columnar cells. So that's the important finding for FEA. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that that helps. It's not an easy um, lesion to grasp or one's mind around, but it is important because it can uh, trip up people when they're looking for malignancies versus this. Oh, sorry. I forgot to mention too. This is 1.5 to 2 fold increase um, risk of future breast cancer. So that's the specific risk associated with FEA in terms of future cancer occurrence. So thank you very much. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And um, I am so happy to answer them. And I hope you have a fantastic day and talk to you soon. Bye.